20 past three in the morning. God, that was an early one. Right, we are off to Scotland. Um, so we've got a bit of a bit of a long drive ahead. See you in a bit. Right, so we've made it to the Highlands. Um, just stopped off at the Green Welly store, or Green Welly stop, um, quick pit stop. So yeah, so making good time. It is now 20 past 11. So yeah, long old drive. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. First location in Glencoe. We are at Rannoch Moor. Um, it looked really good a minute ago when we stopped. Uh, I don't know what's happened to the light. We're just going to have a little wander around. I've seen these birch trees over here on the other side of the water. Which, uh, Yeah, anyway, we are in Scotland, so let's crack on. Right, so, apologies if you can't hear me, but I left my microphone in the car. So, yeah, um, I don't know if you can see, but behind me, we are currently on Rannoch Moor. A quick stop on the way up to the hotel. Um, trying to find the composition, the light keeps changing so much, it's quite difficult. I really like the contrast of this scene here, so let's try and take a few handheld shots. Really, not, not sure about that, not too happy about that. Right, so this is also my first time out with my new Z7, Z7 properly. Um, so yeah, I've got four days up in Scotland um, to give it, a, give it a go, test it out, see how it's like. Uh, so far. Right, so that, that last shot really wasn't working for me. Um, I'm going to head back up this hill and see, uh, see if I can make anything from it there. Because it's just absolutely stunning. The, it's quite overwhelming scenery considering what I'm used to um, down south. The scale of this place is just absolutely massive. Um, I have been here before, but when you're um, when you're not here all the time, you kind of forget how massive this place is. So I'm just going to head back up this hill, back to where the car was parked, and. Um, See if we can find something better out there. I've got to get across this bog. Um, should be interesting. Well, it's just in a, just a quick little time lapse. Uh, it's starting to rain. Back here away. No, it's not raining. trying to navigate my way through the bog and then over what some say is the busiest road in Scotland, A82. So uh, I'll catch up with you guys now.
All right, that's another location just checked off. Um, I've got the road mic on this time, so I'm hoping the sound will be a little bit better. It's not as windy either, so that's good. Um, yeah, so as you can see, probably see, I've just done a quick time lapse of the three sisters and grabbed some shots. Um, yeah, but today's just a, a travel up day and a bit of a recce, so yeah, pretty cool. Amazing place. So, here we are, arrived in Fort William, in the Premier Inn. Cold one this morning, it's minus three. All right, so that's the first shot sorted out. Uh, in the Gary V point or something like that. Now we're just off to Elian Don Castle. So that would be the next stop en route. Well, here we are then. Elaine Don Castle, I think. That's how you pronounce it. Um, obviously needs no introductions. Um, yeah. Here we are. Didn't make it for sunrise, but this is pretty cool. I think someone's done. Look. So, I am on my way up to the Old Man of Store. The place has been on my list for a while. I never said it was a 45 minute hike up here. It's not easy, not easy. But, we absolutely fantastic. And the weather's been rather considerate. Yeah, I will uh, catch you in a bit when we get to the top. And as I was just saying, the weather was being rather considerate. It's just started snowing, which is pretty cool. But yeah, let's see a old man store. It looks like there's a fair track still to go. I don't think uh, Andy's going to be very happy. <laughs> so yeah.
still on my way up to the old manor store viewpoint. And as you can see, or maybe not, turns on the camera, I really should have brought the micro spikes because it's going to be fun coming down. That's where we are. Water on the screen, sorry about that. She made it to the store viewpoint. Oh, that's pretty wild. Pretty wild. Right, Let's see what all the fuss is about, shall we? Old man of store viewpoint. Look at that. Excellent. Right. Let's uh, get the camera out. Right, so here I am. Last location of day, I think. Um, another bucket list location, which is it's just such a long way to come for a, for a photo, which makes it yeah, it's been on my list for a while. But I'll just show you where I am. This is Nice Point Lighthouse. Yeah, pretty cool. So we're gonna think we're gonna plan is to wait for sunset. Um, the weather was absolutely horrendous earlier. I just got back down from store just before I absolutely emptied it down. Um, so yeah, the weather was actually forecast to be right. So we thought we'd head west, and uh, yeah. Here we are. Well, that was a bit of a cold long wait. Got absolutely skunked at the last minute. The old cloud come in, but never mind. I think we've got a couple of good images so, and a time lapse. So I am absolutely froze, so we'll see how it looks when we get back to the car. Oh wow, that was a long day. Just got back from Sky. It is now quarter to 11. Um, we left Sky, well we left Nice Point at half past six. The A82 was shut on the way back, so it was diversion. So yeah, I have absolutely had it. So, well deserved. Thing. 
yeah, so that's the end of day two. A um, couple of locations off my bucket list. Nice Point and... Oh, man, I've store. I can't even remember where I've been. So I think tomorrow is going to be a bit of a lazy day. We're going to have a bit of a chill out. We're not going to bother setting alarms for the morning because the weather tomorrow is meant to be rubbish. It's just started raining out there now. I'm going to enjoy my beer. Oh, one other thing as well. Everywhere was shut for food on the way home, apart from my garage. So, this is my tea. Good night. Morning, folks. Well, actually, quarter past 11 to be precise. Um, we've been out, we've had some breakfast. Went for a walk into Fort William Town. Oh. And the weather is absolutely shocking. Um, so we think we're going to go down and see what it's like down at Castle Stalker. Um, but let me just show you what the weather's doing. Pretty rubbish. So I'm not sure how it's going to pan out today. Um, but we're up here, so we might as well try and make the most of it. I'll catch you in a bit. Right, so yesterday <laughs> the weather was absolutely terrible. Um, as I told you previously when I was back in the hotel now we decided that the weather was so bad um, we were just going to call it a day and travel back which we did so we left about 2.30 yesterday afternoon um, and we arrived back in the forest of Dean at I think it was about 10 o'clock um, yeah and then <laughs> So, so that's it. So there's no outro to the video. I've hopefully got some B-roll on my dash cam of how bad the weather was yesterday. Um, we did actually go to Castle Stalker to try and get a shot, but it, it was absolutely horrific. Um, so we didn't even bother getting the iPhone out to just take a quick snapshot of, of the location. But yeah, so that's where we are. So that's the end of the... 2020 Scotland road trip landscape photography tour. Um, now I hope to get up there again um, this year. It, it, it's just absolutely beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, yeah, a couple of bucket list locations ticked off as you've seen in the video. So one was Nice Point, um, which obviously it didn't work out at the last minute. A cloud came along and blocked the. Uh, a lovely sunset light from the rocks, but that's the way it goes. There's always a, there's always another time to go back. So that concludes this video. Um, hope you've, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's not, yeah. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a like and maybe think about subscribing, so I can get a few more of these videos out. Uh, just makes it worthwhile doing them if people are actually watching them. So yeah, cool. In a bit.